guys, we just got here to this construction site. These workers are saying that our job is easy, that they work hard, and they're, you know, they think they're stronger than us. So we're gonna show them how we deliver bounce houses. What's up guys, thank you for tuning in to another video. Currently outside my house right now, we got the newest unit, the Disco Dome. So let's go inside. Alrighty, so this is the inside, it's all black. My niece is in here jumping, it's her birthday tomorrow. So we got it inflated. She's testing it out before we use it tomorrow for the party. But it comes with uh, that light up there, lights up the whole thing inside has a pocket for a Bluetooth speaker. It's not included. You gotta purchase it separately, but once you get that going, this thing is awesome. I bought this unit at Unique World. My newest unit I've gotten, it's been rented out one time so far. Uh, it's a little pricey, I rented it out for $300, but it's definitely worth worth the money. Alrighty guys, so I wanted to make this quick video today uh, to answer a question I got down in the comments on a previous video. They were asking me how to start a bounce house business. So it's very simple. The first thing you want to do is buy a bounce house. But no, for real. First thing you want to do is definitely just go out and if you have the money, go out and buy your first bounce house. You want to get something gender neutral, maybe a multicolored castle. If you have enough money, just get a multicolored one and a pink one. That's how I started with two units. You know, once you get your units, you know, you want to start advertising maybe on Craigslist or it's free to put free listings on Google and Yelp. Uh, you definitely want to, what I did personally was, you know, get your fictitious business name, get your business license. It's very simple. Just look it up online on how to do it. I could pro probably make a separate video for that. Um, so now you got your bounce house, you got your business name registered. You got your business license, you're ready to go. When you first start, I don't think you can, you know, might not be able to afford insurance. It might not even be worth getting insurance when you first start your business. So I definitely didn't get insurance until I was about a year into my business once I got more units, a lot more customers. Um, and then I got insurance. I got insurance through Liberty United and I've been insured with them for about, I wanna say five years. You're gonna wanna make business cards. You know, especially if you don't have a lot of money to advertise online, you're gonna wanna make some business cards, you know, hand them out to all your friends and family, maybe coworkers you have. Uh, you, you know, I used to go to parking lots and just put them on cars. I never got in trouble for it, uh, but I heard if, you know, they take them off the cars and throw them on the ground, you can get in trouble for all that littering. Uh, so yeah, you're gonna wanna look for a good manufacturer. You know, top ones I recommend is gonna be Ninja Jump, they have some of the best units, but they're very pricey, so I only have two units from them. Everything else I have is from Unique World, also known as Bouncer Depot, so you want to check them out. Juan is a great sales rep, you want to go ahead and check them out, give them a call, have them give you a quote. If you have enough money, you know, you can buy a package deal, but, you know, if you guys have any other questions, leave them in the comments below. Again, this is just a short video I'm telling you how to start your bounce house business. Another quick bonus tip. When you start your bounce house business, you might not even have to have your units yet. Go out and advertise them already. Go on Craigslist for that advertisement. See how the demand is. You know, you might book them before you even purchase them. I actually got my first inflatables booked before I had them. I, they placed the order. I had three weeks to get them. Luckily, you know, Unique World has them in stock ready to go for you to pick up so I booked the, the inflatables I went to go pick them up a week prior already had them booked for the week coming up and I already got money straight back into my pocket that's how I did it you know I really recommend doing that you know test the market put out units you don't have advertise them see if anybody asks you for them one thing I did that with and I never purchased was these Zorballs you know, I saw that a big company had them, so I was advertising Zorballs on my website, on my truck. I, it wasn't a smart idea, but I got the wrap with the Zorballs in it. I got one call within like three years, only one call. They wanted 12 of them. 
you know, I, I never took it because those are about $1,500 to purchase each. But, you know, nobody else ever called me for those. So definitely, you know, test your market, throw out units out there, see how it goes. All right, guys, we'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. We're out. Peace.